officially starts this Saturday evening. It's an eight-day festival of lights celebrated with lots of tradition, and it falls on Christmas Eve this year. It does. How often does that happen? Well, it's either early or late. That's what we say about the Jewish holidays. Mm. There's no specific time. I see. So okay. it's really, so this time it's kind of cool. So you get to celebrate it at the end of the month, kind of uh, like everyone else with Christmas. So we're going to make cauliflower latkes. Okay. And, so and latkes, this is Jen Presserata, by the way. Yes. Oh. Hello. Nice to see you. I want to mention that. If, if you don't know, now um, you know. know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this is cauliflower. So cauliflower is totally trending right now. And it sounds funny to say that about a vegetable. So is it like but last year's like, kale? Like kale well, was I would say kale had its moment. Yeah. Brussels sprouts are still Brussels. kind of like on every menu. Yeah, they're on there. They right? used to, yeah. yeah, people used to not like them. They're everywhere. Huh. So cauliflower now, we're like, you can rice it. So if you That's saw it's 2017's nice and... That's 2017's hot How vegetable. do you rice hot cauliflower? Vegetable. So it's finely chopped, so either in a food processor ah, or okay. some of your local stores are selling it this way, which is great. So finely, finely chopped mm -hmm. cauliflower. Um, this is yellow onion, chopped yellow onion. And the recipe is on that, so Jen.com. So latkes are typically made with potato. But I want to do a little twist this year because cauliflower is so hot. I mean, you're seeing it. This is fresh parsley Ooh. in, like, steaks, they're calling it. Like, they're, they're slicing oh. it across and putting it on the grill in tacos, tempura style, as rice. So wow. it's really, like, a big Jeez. thing. So I wanted to embrace that. So the fresh parsley, this is matzo meal. Now, matzo, matzo meal, meal, you think Passover. Yes. Um, it's typically made then with matzo. Now, this time of year, it's not kosher for Passover, very interestingly hmm. enough. It's made with wheat flour. Okay. So, but it's, it's a binding ingredient, kind of like a breadcrumb. Okay. This is green onion or fresh scallion. It smells so good. We've got some eggs for more binding. Two eggs there. Two, Two eggs here. in here. And my recipe online, I actually cut this and have just because we don't need to make as many right now, but it's a little greater on the site. So we want to mix it all together and we're going to create our base and season it with lots of salt and pepper. Try kosher salt if you have. This is to taste. And I wanted to keep it pretty simple, just with fresh herbs that would complement the cauliflower because we really want it to, you know, stand out and mm. have its moment to shine. Now, for Hanukkah, the miracle is that the oil lasted for eight nights. So we have the menorah, which is the candlelight, symbolic sure. of the oil. So everything we make for the holiday is made with oil. Now, typically, mm. it's like a canola oil or something um, that has a high frying temperature. But this here is olive oil, and I have found that you can do a little heart healthier, a little bit lighter. Okay. Um, so because, that's why you picked it for this. So that's why I chose it for this. Now, I found not only is the miracle of Hanukkah that the oil lasted to me, it's how you could still fit into your pan ah. if you're eating <laughs> fried, fried food things, for huh? all of these. What's another typical uh, food that you would eat on Hanukkah? Suvganiot, which is a fried donut. How do you which say that again? Suvganiot. Suvganiot. And I always have fancy words for you. Um, so <laughs> which is very much like, um, I say every culture has their form of fried dough. So sure. this is ours. You so typically, it it's like a jelly donut. You fill it with jelly. Okay. Um, can we get this a little hotter over here? Um, Heat it up, Jen. And um, <laughs> we make those. You could take just your typical dough, like a pizza dough or a regular um, dough, and you put it in the fryer. Mm. And we put powdered sugar on them. Mm. We usually do like a kind of buffet with all kinds of fun stuff. Yummy, right? yummy. Or you can do it with... Um, uh, other, like it's like a, your churro or mm -hmm. your zeppoli, so that's ours. So, can nice. I get the pan sizzling nice and hot? And last time we saw you, we were talking all about your new children's book. Yes, sweet dreams. So, if you have photos, I know you're waiting to give Dante his for, yes, Christmas, for Christmas as a surprise, but when you give him his, you send a picture because everyone is sending photos in of their kids, their pets, their baby bellies, oh, their grandparents, everyone such reading. A fun story. So we're putting it on, thank you, on that. That's so Jen, uh, my Facebook page, and a few will make it to the website. Have, so you could see this has a good Have you read it yet, sizzle. Teresa? I yeah. have read it several yeah. times, actually. It's such it's an adorable very story. Very popular. And Emma oh, yeah. got it memorized. So. Of course she so does. So now you have a nice sizzle going in the pan, and yeah. this just sounds like Hanukkah. I mean, they see you cook with all of your senses. <laughs> so this senses. is what it sounds like right this here. This is what it sounds oh. like. The that sounds sizzle. of Hanukkah. And I use an ice cream scoop oh. because you get them this way. They're all the same. Size, then, right? Right. The same size, and you fit as many as you can in the so pan. So you flip these, Jen, or how? So you do flip them. So what I like to do, kind of flatten them down a little bit. You can flatten them down, and then you want to wait Tracy, until you can see. I'm going to let you do it. Right? You're doing a great job. Right. It's gotten I'm crispy. Bottom is crispy. So you want to wait. You can flip them yet. So you right. can see, like you'll see it to start to brown, or when you can move it without it falling apart. Okay, That's but not my yet. little trick. No, we're so not there not yet. quite yet. You can give okay. it a minute. So now I like to serve these up either with sriracha, because that's also a really hot thing right now. But I don't do it to be trendy. I do it because it's delicious. <laughs> so you can see here I've drizzled some of them in the front with a little sriracha Ooh. for a nice kick. There's whole grain mustard, so you can so serve that great. as well. Or this is my arugula pomegranate salad dressed very lightly with a little olive oil, lemon juice, and kosher salt for a How great bite. It's like the peppery arugula and a nice, nice tartness from the pomegranate. Yeah. It's very festive looking as well. 
Now, would this it, be an Ryan. appetizer on, on so the window, or where do you typically serve I this? I stay in the kitchen for a very long time. Nice oh. flipping, Ryan. Hey, you know what? Um, yeah, and, you might uh, have a new career. Me, yeah. And make these I'm like the eyes. Julia Childs of... Uh, really oh, are. Yeah. That one got a little messy. messy. Yeah. I serve... You could serve them both ways. I okay. have used a melon baller and made them super tiny and oh, served them all different ways. Um, but this is typically the meal... Usually with uh, potato latkes, you have applesauce yes. with them or sour cream. I like to do creme fraiche and chives. And then when they are all ready, you're going to put them on a paper plate lines, a paper towel lines mm -hmm. plate just to absorb some of the oil. And then you hit them with a little extra a little salt. salt. So I know they're not quite, quite ready yet. I like to make them super, super crispy. And that's why I think a lot of people like them. And then right. when they do, if they happen to fall apart, which yes. they won't because the recipe is perfected, but right. it happens to everybody. <laughs> the perfect recipe, but it happens to everybody. It. That I just call like a chef's gift uh -huh. so that it's like you can Bonus. make them and you don't have to feel guilty that you're right. eating them ah. um, because it's all the good stuff that's falling apart. Well, oh, happy no, Hanukkah great to you. Recipe, Jen. Thank here. you so much. Add a extra kosher that's so Jen.com. You guys can check out the recipe right there. Have a happy Hanukkah, happy holidays, happy whatever Hanukkah. you celebrate. Thank yeah. you. So and up next, we're going to talk.